Viewer discretion advised. What's up everybody, Big D here. It's time to review The Librarian, Season 1, Episode 4, titled And Santa's Midnight Run. This has guest star Bruce Campbell, my man, my boy. Uh, the earliest I've known him from, besides Ash and Evil Dead, is the Spider-Man video games for uh, PS2, you know, etc., etc. Original, where he's like, hold L2, now press X and double tap square, and, you know, just, you know, good, you know how to jump. All that, just, he's just an amazing guy, he plays Santa Claus this episode. Real quick, just want to get my feelings out there for him. Anyway, let's get right to it, man. This is a spoiler review. If you have not seen the episode... Uh, please go to tnt.com slash librarians, watch the full episode there. It should take me less than two minutes to recap the whole episode, pros to cons, give me my final score at the end. And, uh, yeah, quick announcement. December 25th, Christmas Day, is the day I'm going to be making a video on the new TV shows and just my TV schedule for 2015. It's a lot. I don't even know what it's going to be yet. <laughs> so that's why I'm going to do it for Christmas uh, as a gift to you guys. So, uh, overall... First off, it starts off with Santa Claus gets kidnapped and he's at this uh, food, you know, you know, Christmas drive and everything, and he gets kidnapped by the Serpent Brotherhood. And the librarians, they uh, find out that he's real and just the excitement of Cassandra and Jacob's kind of like, whoa, he's real? And Ezekiel's just like, eh. So basically they go to London and uh, we meet Jim Jeffries. He has a cameo. Of course, he's from the TV show Legit and Jim Jeffries. And uh, basically... They save Santa because they go, uh, the librarians, Jacob and, um, Rebecca Romjane, I'm sorry, I can't say her name, last name right, uh, Mystique, Jacob and them, they're throwing busts and everything and distracting the guards while Ezekiel and Cassandra save Santa, and Santa Claus, he talks in the third person, he's like, Santa needs to get his sleigh, Santa needs to save the world, you know, he's just always like that, so I, I laugh my ass off, every time Bruce Campbell's on the screen, I just smile. So he just has that charisma. So they're having a problem. Uh, he's of incarnations of ho ho ho. He's, he becomes a. Uh, there's different incarnations of Santa. And, you know, sometimes he's Odin. At the time he's, you know, playing around, he's a jokester. So it's kind of different. And they drive uh, They drive literally to Canada. Because he has, like, power and it does the Indiana Jones type of map thing and the red line. It's really cool. And um, we're out of gas. So Ezekiel has Santa's hat on, and he's making cookies and giving money to this pilot. And uh, basically, he's just being nice, and he's singing with kids. And, you know, it's just so different to see Ezekiel like that, because he's usually the, uh, he's not the um, jolly joy type, I guess I should say. So he changes to Odin, Santa, in a, a bar, and it's just a really cool scene. So they end up flying, the Serpent Brotherhood is on the sleigh, uh, Duvok. And basically a whole scene, and Duvok's like, blah, blah, blah. And he literally says, blah, blah, blah. They end up fighting. Uh, he puts the hat on, kind of a joy scene for him. He takes it off, you know, and then he falls out of the plane. But he's not dead. You don't kill a villain off like that. So other than that, Santa has failed. He's saying himself because, you know, he rise up to power, give the, you know, the joy back to the world. And Eve is named, because she was born on Christmas Eve. That's why her name is Eve. And it all makes sense. You're like, Eve, Christmas Eve, whoa. That's really cool. And Eve is Santa for that one night. And she's saving people. And it's a really emotional scene, man, where she just touches people just like that. And they, they, they get the joy back. Or they stop what they're going to do. Or don't jump. Or don't drink. It's just one of those where it's like, wow. Why well, can't Santa Claus actually be like that? She was kind of playing God in a sense. So overall, what did I think about this episode? Overall, the best librarians episode yet. Bruce Campbell, a Christmas episode. Santa Claus. Uh, Bruce Campbell as Santa Claus, did I mention that? Obviously, that's a number one awesomeness. I always wanted that as a kid. When I was five, I was like, I want Bruce Campbell as Santa Claus. We need him as Santa Claus. We need Santa Claus. I can't believe it. Overall, my pros, Bruce Campbell. Uh, we didn't have a lot of action in this episode as much as I wanted action. I mean, there wasn't, you know, guns or there wasn't much, you know, this. But for what we had, you know, there were some guards getting hit or something uh, at that um, 
part, the action was pretty satisfying, I guess I should say. It's a funny episode. I actually laughed this episode. No, Wild or Wiley, you know, when he's in the show, it makes me laugh. But when Bruce Campbell's on there, man, forget it. You're going you're gonna to laugh your ass off till, well, what I just said, your ass is going to be laughed off and blown up. So the dialogue in this episode is very good writing. I like Ezekiel and his transformation. But if you enjoy it for I don't want to do this. And then giving the money to the pilot, really cool. I love the opening, too. I think it's a great way to open this uh, episode. Uh, the um, when Santa gets drugged and everything, and Santa's incarnation, just the way he, from Odin to the jokester, and just you could see his eyes and you know the the, the acting, the transformation of this character, definitely uh, really cool. And the one thing I just didn't like out of this episode, the only con, it was the airplane scene where obviously you know of course the fake airplane and all that, but that's not the point. Like they're shaking and they're holding onto the cargo, and. I don't know. He has the cap on Duvok and everything, and he's like, I'm just gonna say the girl's name is Liza. Liza, go! You know, because she's on the sleigh. And she's like, Do I have to? Is she so stupid that she doesn't know that he's under control of that thing and just what they're talking about? And also, he would get sucked out pretty easily. He wouldn't fall and be like, Oh, oh no, he'd, he'd wah, you know, just get, choom, they'd all get sucked out technically if they weren't holding on. So that's my problem. Physics, you know. Anyway, overall, I, you know, I, I have a problem with Eve. Eve, why, why, why did I say Rebecca earlier? Eve. Um, I have a little problem with her, though. She's not as enjoyable as the other characters. But that's just uh, the way life goes, man. Overall, I'm going to give this episode a solid A. I think it's... The greatest episode of Librarian so far. Definitely the most coolest, the most funnest, the most funniest um, of the four episodes so far. So next week it's called Librarians and the Apple of Discord. And Noah Wild returns next week. So I can't wait to see you guys December 28th. Have a Merry Christmas, all of you. Happy Holidays. Get that joy to the world. And uh, can't wait for Bruce Campbell to break down your chimney or you know open your doors and get some cookies and mess and milk and pies and whatever you uh, leave Santa. So overall, ho 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 uh, from Big D. And uh, you know what would make the greatest Christmas gift to me, guys? Hitting that subscribe button. Right there. Also, if you're big TV show people, I just bought True Detective. I'm on episode 3 right now, watching that. <laughs> anyway, see y'all next time. May the spot be with you. Always remember Christmas Day, I reveal my sleep for next year of TV shows. It's hot in here. I'll see you all soon.